folks the e-application for face-to-face, -face, and we have a new uh, technology that you can download and install onto your cell called Live App Air, and these are the methods that you could write applications electronically. So let's begin on my e-application, other things to tag on. Um, make sure that you complete all information, that you verify all of the client's information, um, and in the event that you do happen to get that counter offer, unlike the voice option, which the interviewer will aid you, you will be the interviewer here, so the system is gonna prompt you with the steps that you need to take in order to complete the application successfully. So with counter offers, what it will prompt you after you've completed those medical questions is it'll give you a decision, and if you quote it differently, it'll ask you to go back to the rate calculator and match the, uh, uh, the, the tier according to what was approved. So you'll do that. You will hand over your mouse to your customer, make them do the signatures you will sign, and then you will complete it. So it's pretty much a, gonna be a self-guided application if you do the face-to-face e-application. -face e Any questions thus far? Okay. Hi, Maria. Actually, we do have a couple yes. that are uh, have popped up, so I'll go ahead and interrupt while you have that brief pause. Uh, the first one is, uh, will the voice app send the disclosures for me, or do I have to email it from my own email? You have to email them. Great question. You will have to email them on your own. The voice interviewer will not be in a position to email them for your client. Perfect. And then the next, uh, same topic, are the disclosures found on the Aptical portal or on the Benchmark no. portal? They will be on the Benchmark portal. Great question. Uh, next is, will replacements be allowed in the future? That is something that's debatable right now, to be honest with you. There are certain measures that we need to have in place, and one of the requisites is that the customer needs to be face-to-face -face with you. Now, we do offer the replacement on a paperless version, so that was what I had um, highlighted at the beginning and on the beginning slide. You can do a replacement. The only thing is that you can't do it on a telesales point of sale. You have to be face-to-face -face with your client. Great. Thank you. Um, is the app ID that pops up at the end the policy number? No. The app ID is a tracking number. It's unique to the Live App Portal, so this is not something that's going to carry over to the home office. It's just going to allow you to be able to search back an application in case you get booted out or um, in case you need to retrieve it back, you know, you have a repeat customer and you want to know what you completed a year ago, and when you go on your Live App Portal, in that portal alone, that tracking number will work for you. Great. Uh, I have some people interested in the mobile app. Uh, one question is, how do I download the mobile app? Is it available for Android or just Apple? Those are great questions, and that's actually my last uh, technology piece. So after we finish up any questions on these two technology options, we can dive right along to the mobile version. Okay, and then it uh, looks like a new one just popped up. Is there an option for the client to be sent a link to eSign versus the voice signature? No. So the voice signature is unique to telesales point of sales. So this will be done through a telephone technology, voice technology. If your customer wants to be face-to-face -face with you, the e-application will instruct you to e-sign, and that is done through your mouse, your mouse pad. So that's how that works. Perfect. Okay, thank you so much, Maria. I think that does it for oh, these questions. Pleasure. Okay, great. So let's move on to the next technology piece, and that is our mobile option. So this is our newest technology piece, and let me tell you, we've got great reviews thus far. It hasn't been around from, for that much 
that long, but the users that have used it are very satisfied with it. It's very convenient. It definitely beats having to bring in a heavy laptop or have to, you know, resort to going to your work office just so that way you can use your desktop. This mobile uh, uh, technology option is available for all cell phones, so Android users, Apple users can all install the software from their respective stores. So if you're an Apple user, you're gonna go into your Apple store. If you're an Android user, you're gonna go into your Play Store. And if you do have your cell phones right here with you, I can tell you what to do to install it and we can get uh, done with the most difficult part of the installation. So here's what you're gonna do. So on your respective store, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna do a application search and you're gonna do the following. And it's gonna be one word, no spaces. Aptical Mobile. Let me spell that out for you. It's A P P as in Peter, T as in Tom, I as in Igloo, C as in Cat, A as in Apple, L as in Life, Mobile, M O B I L E. All one word, all lowercase. So when you do that search, the first search result will be this software. So go ahead and install it and keep it in your phone for future use. Your login credentials that you uh, get with your welcome email will work on this software. So it'll be the exact same credentials all across all three tech options. It's the same portal. It's just what differs is the hardware you use. So you won't necessarily be able to go on your cell phone and open up Google Chrome to access Aptical, that you cannot do, but you, that's why we have a, a special application for cell phones. So please uh, make sure you take a note of that because we've had some agents that didn't, didn't know that and they were trying to access the application process through their cell phone by way of Google Chrome. That's just not gonna allow you to do that very well because cell phones are much more compact. They don't have the capabilities of the laptop or an iPad even have. So this is why there's a separate application uniquely tied into cell phones. And if there's anybody else that also wants to ask the question, um, no, you cannot install this application on your iPad. It's not gonna work for you. It has to be a smartphone, an actual phone with a line um, in order to be able to utilize this application. So just take a quick note of that and then we'll be able to move right along. So once you download this application on your phone, you're going to be instructed to key in your client's demographics on a quoting tool. Once you key in that, Aptical Mobile will instruct you to take a picture of your client's ID. So rather than having to key in all the information like you do with a voice application or with an e-application, what's so convenient about this uh, technology piece is that you're just simply taking pictures. And what it's doing, it's actually working as a scanner and it's taking in that information from the client's ID and uploading it automatically for you with one press of a button. So it's going to pull that information, then it's going to ask you to take a picture of the client's payment information. So if they have a check right at their disposition, it's gonna do just the same thing. You're gonna take a picture, it's gonna work as a scanner, it's gonna pull in information automatically for you. So it's definitely uh, a time saver there. It definitely avoids any um, errors, omissions that sometimes you know human uh, fingering of that information will um, result in. So it's really nice, it's really neat. It's really a very popular option, especially if you're after hours at a bar or wherever it is that you are and you don't necessarily want to bring in your laptop. You can just whip up your phone. Your client's right there sitting next to you. You want to give them a quote. You'll have that opportunity to do so. If they're ready to see if they qualify, one, two, three, you got all that covered on your phone. So finally, once you key in all that information, you will wait for Aptical to contact you. And sometimes, depending on the volume, it'll be like a one to two minute wait. Usually it's done under 60 seconds. And you'll be able to complete a phone interview. So to answer the question that I was initially posed with this technology, yes, you do need to have a telephone 
interview done, even if you're face-to-face -face with your client. This is the only technology option because it's from a cell phone that you'll need to have our third-party vendor, Aptical, be part of the interview. So make sure that your telephone ringer is turned on. Don't put it on silent because then you'll miss the call. And pretty much from there, it's going to be self-explanatory. It's going to be just as identical as what we covered when we discussed the voice phone interview. Once the interview is complete, Aptical Interviewer will render the decision. So you'll know, your customer will know what they're eligible for. And you will wait for the electronic application to load on your phone. So this is another great feature that all you'll need to do is just wait for those documents to upload automatically on your cell phone. You'll be able to see them. They'll, they'll come through in a, you know, small visual there, but fully, you know, uh, resolution will be 100% there for you to be able to see and sign accordingly. There will be red X's next to where your client needs to sign. Aptical will also guide you uh, who needs to sign first and then hand it over to your customer to sign as well. Um, so you'll be signing that through DocuSign. So you'll review all the documents with your client, sign your name, follow the steps needed in order to complete the sale. It's really that simple. It's really a no-brainer, very much self-guided, very good visuals uh, and prompts for you to exercise and everything that we need in order to complete the sale. Now, for my agents that maybe need a little extra walkthrough and they want to see the visual of how that works, we do have a video on our Prosperity Agent Portal. That's the benchmark portal. You can go in there. The video can be found under General Information, uh, Training, and then you're going to look at Live App Air Demo. So that's the video that we have. It showcases a different product. I believe it's the prime term product that the um, uh, agent is uh, showcasing, but the walkthrough is exactly the same. Um, it's very much uh, a, a great video. It's about 12 minutes long, so it will definitely help you get familiarized with this technology and see firsthand how a sample application can be taken on your phone. Um, in case you need to know, Voice applications are currently not offered in the state of Pennsylvania, New York, and Maine. We do not offer this uh, product in its entirety in the following states, North Dakota, South Dakota, New Hampshire, Montana, Connecticut, DC, Delaware, Hawaii, Alaska, Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Um, Outside of those states, we do accept um, the voice, the e-app, um, mobile technology is also available in most states. And of course, we do accept the hard copy paper applications with wet signatures sent to us by fax or email. So in the event uh, that you may not necessarily have internet connection and you must submit a paper application, we do accept that. Uh, copies of our application kits will be found on your benchmark portal, your prosperity portal. So just make sure that you go into the resources tab and you go under the state that your customer resides and you download that application. Printing it is very simple. Uh, it's a PDF uh, link that we offer you. So when you click on it, it'll prop up on your computer or laptop. You'll save it and then print it out. It's about nine to 10 pages long. What you're going to do is you're going to instruct the customer to sign your application and then you will schedule an optical uh, phone interview. So for that, you will need to know what the optical telephone number is so that way you can schedule that. And then they'll give you a reference number. Just make sure that you let them know that this is a hard copy application so that way they know to provide you the reference number. And you'll be set to go. You can email the completed application back to Prosperity. You can fax it to us. Uh, just make sure that you do that in a seven-day time frame, so that way it's fresh. Uh, you do want to make sure that in the event that your customer, make, let's say, has a change of heart or ends up getting declined and no longer wishes to move forward with the application, we still need it for archiving purposes. So make sure you provide us the full application, the HIPAA authorization, and that you do this within seven days. You can attach a cover letter, if you will, with the instructions, please withdraw 
or customer was declined um, for us to note the, the, the file accordingly. And that's basically pretty much it. Do you have any other questions? The only one that popped up was, can you use the Live App Air for both the uh, new Vantage and the Prime Term 100? The new Vista, yes. You can use it for new Vista as well as Prime Term. Perfect. Thank you. That's all the questions right now, Cand uh, excuse me, <laughs> Maria. Um, <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate it. Everything that you've come has even taught me some stuff. So uh, thank you again. Oh, my pleasure. Well, thank you so much. And hey, if everybody has any follow-up questions, we are available via email. Let me skip over to that slide. And if anybody needs our Aptical phone number, I can just go ahead and press hold on this slide too. It's 1-800-737-6972. And we're available uh, via email at agentcare at prosperitylife.com. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day, everybody, and thanks so much for having me.